So I'm going to walk you through Thales protocol. We'll take a look at the landing page as well as the home page, and then I'll walk through an individual markets page. Thales is a protocol for trading positional tokens for crypto assets. It's currently available on Optimism and Polygon. I'll walk through this on the Optimism network. I'm going to assume you have a basic understanding of Ethereum and that you have a Web3 wallet such as MetaMask installed. You'll also need some ETH bridged over to the Optimism network so that you can pay for transactions. And you'll need SUSD so that you can purchase tokens. You can acquire SUSD by staking synthetics tokens, or you can purchase it from automated market makers such as Uniswap. If you want to use Thales on Polygon, you'll need Matic for transactions and you'll have to use USDC to purchase tokens. So if you go to thalesmarket.io, you'll see this beautiful landing page. And actually here under the learn section, we have documentation available. This is a full get book with details on trading and different ways to interact with the protocol, as well as other information related to the protocol. So check it out if you have questions that aren't answered through these videos. But back to the landing page, if you scroll down, you'll see some more information about the protocol initiatives available and different partnerships. We have some frequently asked questions listed out and then here is links to all the socials. But let's scroll back up and jump right into the markets. To do that, click on this Thales icon and that'll take you to the markets homepage. So let's look at the menu options. Markets will take you back to this page. You also can view other products like ranged markets, exotic markets, Thales Royale is a community-based competition. Tale of Thales is a gamified learning module. Governance is where you can vote on the protocol. And Thales is where you can stake and claim Thales tokens. I'll cover both of these pages in future videos. But now let's take a look at the profile option. So if you click here, this will give you information about the wallet you currently have connected. So for this demo, I'm using a clean wallet. I don't have any positions open at the moment. But if I did, they'd be listed here. And any positions that have matured, either favorably or not, will be listed out under this matured positions tab. Finally, you can see a history of all your interactions with the protocol. And you can search here in the search box or switch to a grid if you prefer. This will show you the amount of SUSD you have in the wallet that you're currently connected. And this is the amount of claimable SUSD for markets that have resolved favorably. Below that, you'll see some stats for the protocol, total net profit, total gain percentage, number of trades and total volume, as well as total investment in the protocol, and some information about the Thales tokens that you're currently holding. You can get to this page by clicking on the address up here. And then you can also click on this grid of dots to get a bit more. This will have similar information to the profile page, but you can also see the wallet that you're connected with and switch wallets if you choose, or disconnect the wallet. And you can also see which network you're currently on. Here's some information about the Thales token price, and this is where you can change the avatar for your wallet. You can also change your display name here. You can change the theme. And then we have English, Russian, and Chinese languages available. All right, let's go back to the home page. And at the top here, you'll see the highest potential profit markets. So these are markets where the chances of resolving in your favor might be lower, but because of that, the potential profit is much higher. You can click through with these arrow, and then for each one, you'll see the icon for the asset for this market, the ticker symbol for that asset, and the direction for this positional token. Below that's the strike price, the price per SUSD potentially to claim, and the time left until maturity for this market. And then finally, here's the potential profit for this market. Now, if you want to see all markets available, you can just scroll down a bit, and here's a table with everything. You can select a specific asset by clicking on the icon, and you can even select multiple if you wish. If you select none, it'll just show you everything. You can then toggle between all markets or markets that have available liquidity, and you can change to a grid here as well if you choose. Finally, there's a search bar. So you can search by ticker symbol, but you can also search by things like strike price, which can be quite helpful. Then each column is sortable, so asset, strike price, current assets price, the time remaining for this market until maturity, the amount of liquidity available from the AMM, the price of the tokens, the phase for the market, whether it's in trading or not, 
and then some information about the asset here. So let's take a look at a specific market. With Ethereum at 1867, let's find a market with a strike price that's slightly below that. Let's see, 1700 looks good. So I'll click on this row to view that market. Okay. So you'll notice at the top, you can toggle between the order book and the AMM. The order book will show positions created by other wallets, and the AMM will allow you to trade with the automated market maker. At the top here, you'll see information about the market itself. So this is the maturity date. This market matures on June 3rd, and if you hover, you'll see a specific countdown. So in a little more than seven days or one week, this market will mature. With the current asset price of 1867 for ETH, the strike price for this market is 1700 Here's the price difference between the current price and the strike price for this market. If you have positions for this market, it'll show them here, and the value of those positions will be listed below. And then here's the liquidity for this market. This means that there's 77,841 SUSD available to purchase for up tokens for this specific market from the AMM. And red is the available down tokens available to purchase. Below that, you'll see the price for those tokens. So at the moment, the price of Ethereum is above the strike price of $1,700 meaning that it's most likely that it will stay that way and end up above the strike price. So an up token is going to be much more expensive at 80 cents per SUSD of potential claim. Whereas for a down token, it's only 25 cents per SUSD to claim. But that's because the chances that the current price will drop below the strike price are much lower than that they'll stay above. So here's the area where you can enter the information for the position you'd like to purchase. You can switch this to sell if you already hold a position, but we'll keep it on buy for now. Next is the up or down position. If you want to choose up, you can keep it here. And if you want to change it to a down position, switch to down. If we go to up, let's fill this out. So amount to buy is the amount of SUSD you would potentially claim if the market resolves in your favor. So if you are correct. And in this case, buying an up token for a strike price of 1700, I'm assuming that the price of Ethereum will stay above 1700 on the maturity date of June 3rd. And for that, I'll put in $10. So if I'm correct, I can claim 10 SUSD. The cost for that will be 79 cents. So you can see it change slightly since we looked here based on the current price of ETH. But 79 cents, a little more per SUSD to claim potentially. So if I, if I'm correct, expects to claim 10 SUSD, it'll cost me $7 and a little more than 95 cents. That's a potential profit of $2.04. That's a profit percentage of 25%. Below that is skew. So skew is a mechanism to encourage traders to go against the general market. There'll be a slight cost if you want to trade on the more popular side of the market, meaning that most people trading this market are buying up tokens. So there's a slight charge. If you change the down, there is no skew because there are less people participating in the downside of this market. And below that slippage tolerance. If you've traded with AMMs, you'll be aware of slippage. That's just the amount of slippage you're willing to tolerate for this transaction to go through. Below that, some information about the transaction itself. And then this is the button where you can initiate the transaction. So finally, there's this section here, which is a trading view chart. It has all the functionality of a general trading view chart, which is great. You can scroll through the timeline by clicking and dragging, and then you can change the time frame by clicking here. Let's change it to one hour to get a more granular view. So this arrow or line represents the price action, and you can see the price levels on the right. Below that's volume. So a line with red is going to be a majority sell volume, and a line with green is going to be a majority buy volume. So for this market, we're looking at June 3rd maturity date. 1700 strike price. June 3rd is here. So this will help you kind of decide if you think the price is going to move in your favor according to the position you're taking here. The next tab is position price. So this will show you how the price of the positions for this market have changed over time. So you can see that there was a big increase in up tokens and then it's basically leveled out. Whereas for down tokens, there's a bit of a drop here and then it leveled back out. So this will change according to the change in the actual price asset as the prices of these positions change. 
This tab will show your activity for this specific market. And then the market activity tab will show all wallets interactions with this market. This will give you a list of all the buys and sells as well as markets that have minted positions for the order book. Next to that's the amount and then the price of the positional token for that transaction. And then finally, you can see the actual transaction if you click on this link through optimistic Ethereum scan. The last tab is similar markets. So this will show you other markets with similar variables as the one you're looking at. So if we're looking at a June 3rd maturity date, this will show me ETH markets that also mature on June 3rd, but there's some slightly different strike prices. And this will be interesting to see how the prices of the positions change when you change the strike price. So the market we're looking at with a current price of 1867, our strike is under at 1700. So that means up tokens are of course more expensive than down tokens. But if we pick this market with a strike price of 2100, you can see that it's split. So the current price is now below the strike price of 2100, meaning that to buy an up token here, and assuming that you think the price of ETH will go up above 2100 on June 3rd, it's gonna be much cheaper. Whereas for the 1700 strike price, it was much more expensive because it was already above that price. Thank you.